and welcome back. We, ha we are going to have some really fun uh, live session for you. We, we have a live audience today. I'm going to shout out to Div. Hello. So Div is over there. He's our regular uh, coffee tester. So, so we're going to have some fun. It's going to be, hold on, let me check the sound here. Coffee test. Uh, let me check the sound is good. We are going to compare a couple of different things this morning. We got Commandante. This is a Mark IV. Okay. And versus we have an Easy Presso K Plus. Okay, K Plus is their Easy Presso kind of like flagship model. And fantastic hand grinder. The both of them are pretty much the top of the line comes to hand grinders. And we are going to brew. Okay, with Oria V3. So here is the kind of like fun part. It's kind of like east versus west okay so we have a west we have a uh oria i'm gonna match that with commandante that's the west versus the east which means asia okay uh so so we're gonna do uh so this is the aliexpress brewer the look at the opening on the bottom folks okay this thing is extremely fast brewer so so this is fast Okay. No, hold on. The Oria is fast. As you see, there are a lot of openings there. So this is going to be even faster. Okay. Fast versus faster. All right. And then we got the. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to match that with the Oria with uh, Commandante and the K Plus with the really fast AliExpress Brewer. Top of that, we are going to, it's gonna be great. Uh, so this is coffee from Say Coffee. Uh, this is the Morona family, uh, Hondura. Okay, this is Hondura, coffee from Hondura. Uh, wash process. Tasting notes are fantastic. Black raspberry, light sea, and orange blossom and honey, all right? We already did an initial session uh, with the dip earlier this morning. And I think we got the, the grind size figured out, okay? It's gonna be around three minute brew time. Around three minute brew time. Uh, I'm going to be start with uh, 50 grams, about 40, uh, 50 grams of water to bloom. Okay, it's gonna be exact, uh, identical pr uh, process, uh, the brewing recipe. 50 grams first, I'm gonna wait about 45 seconds. And then I'm gonna add another, another 50. I'm gonna wait till I almost draw down and then I'm gonna add another 50. So I'm gonna do the. 50, 50, 50, and the last pull, we're gonna go 75. So one to 15 ratio. Again, 50, 50, 50, and 75. And the total brewing time should be around, around three minutes, okay? Around three minutes there, and should be fun. I cannot wait for that. I'm gonna shout out to friends at live chat. We have a crazy is on, you got BTZ, Richard, Cifal, and Jose, okay? Uh, again, if you're joining us for the first time, the welcome to the live streaming and the live tasting, all right? Uh, I'm using the flat bottom paper. So this is a clear wave, the 185 paper. Man, so I think uh, comes to, I'm using the gooseneck kettle from Stack. Uh, let's not forget the water is a key as well. Okay, you need to use a good water. So I'm using the the perfect water. So, man, I'm I'm throw everything at this session. So I cannot wait to share the coffee with you this morning. So let's get going. I'm just gonna brew some coffee. You know what, I'm going to, hold on a second, yeah. Just going to flip the camera. Kind of like this the overhead view. Here we go. Uh, I'm setting at 97 Celsius. So that's kind of like the boiling temperature. So Tucson is about the 3,000 foot high. So... I'm gonna have a dip. 
the grind, 15 grind, we already measured out here. So I'm gonna do mine. You know what, let's time it. Okay, I wanna time how long it's gonna take the grind, 15 grind for Commandante. Uh, we're gonna do some a uh, couple comparison. All right, buddy, are you ready? All right, set, go. Uh, we are grind Commandante right now. The, let's see how long it's gonna take to grind Commandante. 15 gram. Hold on, about 30 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do an easy press up, K plus. About 30 seconds for the Commandante. <coughs> Ready, set, go. With the easy press, man, half that. 15 seconds for easy press or K plus. All right, goodness, it's all that faster there. All right, let's get the our brewer ready. That is interesting. Okay, that is interesting. I'm just gonna hit up my water. Just make sure with the uh, Orea. You might want to just, you know, press down first. With the paper. All right. Okay, so let's talk about the grind size. Grind size for K plus is about eight point four clicks for the K plus. For the Commandante. Uh, we did at 17 clicks. Okay, 17 clicks on Commandante. Okay, yeah, 17 clicks on Commandante there, sir. So. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be like blind tasting because uh, because I do want to have a little bit talk about the coffees and. Blind tasting can be fun, right? I got 14.9 gram, so about 15 gram there. Uh, uh, we, I do, we do have some static, so, okay. So RDT does help, right? So if you don't, uh, if, you, if you don't avoid the static, just to do RDT. Okay, Commandante. You know what? Seems like our grind size is a little different. We'll see. 14.9 gram as well. Hold on a second here. 15. Yeah, it comes to retention wise. About the same. Both grinder. Okay. Let's brew some coffee, folks. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. I think we got the right angle. All right, here we go. First, I'm gonna put 50 grams of water. I'm gonna a little agitation here. And again, well, I'm gonna wait about 45 seconds. 
Is someone there? Okay. All right. Again, I'm going to wait about 45 seconds. The, for the consistency wise, I'm going to be using the mellow drip for the consistency. Okay, at this point, I'm going to be using hun uh, another 50 grams of water introduced. Go up to 100. In the meantime, I'm going to go 50 gram for Commandante. Quick stir. So almost drained, I'm gonna add another 50 gram to go up to 150. Right. Again, I'm gonna wait about 45 seconds for the total blooming time. I'm going to add another 50 gram here. For my last pour, I'm going to go 75 instead of 50. I'm going to go all the way to 225. And at this point, I'm going to use my stir stick to final, kind of like the gentle agitation. That's it. Again, with same thing, I'm going to add additional 50 grams of water. So it's gonna be around, so far, two minutes and 50 right now. It's gonna be around three minute mark there with uh, Brewer from AliExpress. About three minutes and about 10 seconds. There we go. And then with Aurea, the my finer. 75 gram. Two twenty five. Again, I'm just going to go easy stir, very gentle. Okay, the final. That's it. All right, so we are at three minutes. Slightly over than the brewer from AliExpress. 310, very close, okay, very close there. Yeah, very close, Cobb, 320. I'm gonna call it at 325. All right. So this is cut from, <coughs> excuse me, man. Aurea and Commandante, uh, AliExpress Brewer with K+. All right. So that, uh, you know, let's start with Commandante, okay? Dip. Yeah. Uh, you want to smell that first? Okay, so time to taste. Okay, last time to taste here. 
All right, so how about smell? A little bit of rosy, floral, and orange. Orange? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not just going to smell from the... Yeah. Cheers, guys. There you go, bud. Okay. Okay. Man, what do you think? It kind of like muted. It is muted. It kind of like muted. It's, 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 it's a bit all... it's diluted. Yeah. It feels a lot diluted. Like very, very subtle flavors. Not too... So that was what, three minutes and what, 25 seconds? Mm -hmm. Coming down to three minutes and 25 seconds. So, I mean, by all the recipe, I mean, they're right in line, okay? I like the, I like, I like around three minute mark there. And then the, the other one was what, three, three or five? Yeah, three or five. Okay. So we're gonna try, I need some more cup. So this is the K plus and the the really fast brewer from AliExpress. Oh man, I can smell the lightsy. Yeah, see this one has more rose rose. Yeah, I can smell the lightsy there. The hold on, so is a MGS Angel, where is your fancy silver tasting spoon? Uh, I don't, I, is it there somewhere? Hold on. Okay. Orange blossom. Mm -hmm. Is that, do you taste light say little or no? A little bit. Very, very less. I wonder, I wonder Oreo needs to be even, even faster. Okay, because right now we are at like 325, that's the length. I wonder we gotta make that to like two minute mark there. Like two minutes and like around two minutes. So instead, right now we are at 17 seconds, uh, 17 clicks, even 20. Maybe we can try it at 20. Yeah. I mean, bring out the sweetness. I mean, for, for, this, for this setup right now, I got Commandante with the Oreo. Yeah, so here is, this is the uh, AliExpress Brewer. Yeah, this definitely has a leachy, leachy smell there. So, so this is the, the Oreo with Commandante. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, John Sehun, oh yeah, you need to try the Gaussian filter with the tools. Got mine, okay, improve the clear that white paper a lot, okay. So, John, I do have Gaussian as well. Uh, shout out to my buddy, Mike. So, Mike uh, made a Gaussian for me for the Stack X. But, I mean, that fits. I mean, this one fits okay. I mean, I think it might work. Uh, see, Pao say. Uh, 18 or 19, I think 20 is too much. Maybe eight. So right now I'm at 18 clicks with Commandante. And uh, no, 17 clicks. 18 or 19. You know what? Let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for it. So we're gonna go a little. Okay, so let's go a little coarser. Right now I'm at 17 clicks right now for Commandante. So let's go 18, 19. I think we, got, we need to go 19. We should go 20. Okay, see Pao say 20 is too much. Jose say 19, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go, we got 17, we got, we're gonna go 18, 19. All right, let's go 19, all right, let's go 19. Okay. I'm gonna take your word for it. All right. So we're gonna go 19 clicks. Clean 
in for a sec. If you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to the live uh, live chat here. Which so, one did you prefer? Uh, right. Comes to cup, uh, comes to at this setup. I mean, I like the the really fast brewer from AliExpress. Yeah. Okay. It's it's definitely a lot better. Uh, with, with the K plus. Yeah. All right. But you know what? Hey. I mean, this is great thing about uh, the dialing in your uh, brewer. It does take time. There's no magic number, okay? The best way to do is <clears throat> uh, brew, uh, so brew at some point, okay? It could be 18 or 19 clicks, but the other, other brewing method should be the identical, the consistent. And then, and then start changing your recipes there. And hopefully you're gonna find the right, the kind of like sweet spot. So this is the Say Coffee. Uh, Say does really light roast. So you want to, hold on, I'm just gonna go. So you wanna use really hot water, okay? It's kind of like the boiling temperature. Okay, there we go. So we got, uh, we got 19, changed to 19 clicks. And uh, no, no RDT, we, ju we just got it. So this is the one. All right, so let's do that one more time, guys. Okay, comes to water, man. I do enjoy using fellow stack, the, the EKG. But you gotta constantly, you have to fill the water in if you don't do more than one. You're not measuring, right, the timing? So we changed to grind size 17 to 19. And then we are adjusting, uh, hopefully we're gonna get the, the fast brew time and bring up more sweetness. Okay, so that we, uh, that's what we, we are hoping for. Make sure everything is all nice and flat on the bottom. Okay. Okay, let's flip the camera for a second here. All right, <clears throat> let's do it. So this is the 19 clicks. You're gonna do the exact same uh, process. Yeah, the exact same process here. The water is ready. Let's go. Let's start with the 50 grams of water. Uh, 
acetation. Uh, we're going to wait about, again, the 45 seconds. Forty-five to fifty. But whatever you do, just be consistent every time. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add additional fifty grams of water. So it's gonna be like, uh, we're gonna start with a 50 to bloom, 50, 50, and 75. So give us a one to 15 ratio of 225 grams of water going in. And then I'm gonna wait till the water is almost draw down to the right there, okay? <clears throat> almost. And then we got, I'm going to add another 50 grams of water. So the next pour is going to be uh, 75. Okay. I see the bottom. Is 75 and at this point I'm gonna do just gentle okay gentle stir ever so gently That's it. All right, let's find that, okay? The brew time's going to be a... <clears throat> much better this time. It's gonna be around two minutes and... Could be three. Very close to, uh, yeah. Around three minutes. Could be three or five. Three or five, just like the last brew. Man. Boy, the bat looks pretty good. Flat bat there. <clears throat> Let's. So that's going to be an interesting one, okay? So, they're looking at the paper, okay? They're looking at the paper, uh, it's all about the same, okay? Uh, same brewing time, same brewing time, and the only thing difference is the grinder and brewing method. So, we did the Orea V3 with Commandant. All right, are you ready? Well, I'm going to smell this first. Okay, here we go. Smell that. What do you think? No? A little bit better than previous one. Okay. It's getting to where we had with that fast brewer. So this is the after we adjust the grind size. Uh, 17, now at 19, uh, about three minute uh, brew time there. Yeah, I can smell more fragrant. Yeah, yeah more, more floral aroma is there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not bad, isn't it? <clears throat> it's better. It's better. Better, hold on. Definitely better, uh, more sweeter. I mean, man, slightly. Slightly. It's still still a bit muted. A little bit. 
Okay, so, yes, slightly, yeah. It's not quite like the, like the, other one. the, the other one. I wonder is the brewer or I wonder is the grinder. We don't know, okay? So that's what we're gonna find out next time. Not today, we're gonna do that next time. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like the, the brewer. Okay, so again, so, <clears throat> so there's a lot of questions, right? So it comes to setup wise, uh, Aurea with Commandante versus uh, pretty much AliExpress. You can get uh, K Plus from Amazon or AliExpress, doesn't matter. So K Plus versus the, this really the fast brewer from <clears throat> AliExpress. So let me show that one more time. So look at this. I mean, this thing is so pretty much super fast. And I prefer AliExpress brewer and a K plus, I feel like bring out the more sweetness, <clears throat> the better cup there. What does that mean? That means anything, okay? Which means, I mean, I like the very subjective. So, so far, Dip and I, we like uh, that setup, okay? We like that setup. And there's a lot of different setups out. We got V60, we got have Kalita, we have April, we got the AeroPress, goodness, name it. They got, yeah, they got them all. So <clears throat> again, I would, this setup, I prefer K Plus and AliExpress. And then uh, maybe next week, uh, we're gonna go, I'm, I'm using the one brewer and the wood, a couple of different grinders. So let's compare that. And this one is again, it's called like B87, Jose. All right, Jose, this is a B87 from AliExpress. Willing to wait, okay? You gotta willing to wait for a long time. I ordered this about three weeks ago, so finally I got it uh, last night, so yeah. If you don't mind wait, uh, it's cheap. Uh, I only pay, what, 15 bucks, $17, and they pay, what, four, $4 for shipping, around $20 for this, for this setup right here, but again, I mean, Aurea is also amazing brewer as well, so also this is fantastic too. If you're looking for really fast brew, this is great as well. But uh, comes to grinder, uh, that's something I do want to compare with that next time. But I'm re really curious, because since we are here right now, you know what, I do want to try with my EK43, okay? Uh, I, I saw Joe's name showed up, so I do want to try with the EK. 43 with my fast brewer. Yeah. Okay, I want to try the EK43. With, so that one has the brew birds inside. Man. You know what, let's do it. What do you think? Let's do it. So, hey Joe, if you are watching, so we're gonna go with a Euro EK versus, in, I'm very anxious, okay, because I want to be great, okay? I want my EK to be the greatest coffee grinder out there. But for the sake of our video, we're gonna compare, okay? We're gonna do some comparison. Uh, hold on. Uh, Andrew mentioned, are you, how are you liking your Aurea versus your Tricklet? Okay, my modified Tricklet was, it was good, but my Aurea is much better, all right? much better but this one here man super super fast i think about it as your brewer with kind of like chicken wire on the bottom that's it all right this is a very thick uh, plastic as well so you know heat management should be good too yeah so let's do it so i'm gonna be using my uh fat hold on yeah let's use the my uh aliexpress brewer let's brew some coffee all right, and uh, comes the grind size for EK. Goodness, I need to check my note here. Last time I did with the EK at number nine, I think number nine should be okay. All right, because it's gonna be really fast anyway. I'm gonna say the same grind size as the last time.
All right. So water, I'm just going to add some more water. Can you measure out 18, uh, 15 grams? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this one should be really interesting. Uh, man, I cannot wait for this one. So we are using the 15 gram. And you're also you're using the this fast brewer from AliExpress. There we go. And we are using the Say Coffee. Okay. And we are also here using the Clita Wave, the 185 paper. Man, I'm very anxious about this one. Yeah, th again, this thing is super, super fast. If you guys are into a fast brewing system, man. I mean, surprisingly, I don't know why Amazon is not selling this. Like a 14.8 gram, which means about 0.3 gram hiding somewhere. All right. Hiding somewhere. All right, let's do it. 50 grams of water. Quick stir. Okay, we're gonna wait about 45 seconds. Then we're going to use the same uh, mellow drip for the consistency. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add 50 grams of water. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, by the way, Jesse asked, uh, let's, do, let's do a niche brew. <laughs> I mean, I did a lot of niche comparison before, but niche is not known for the, the filter coffee. They're great for espresso, for sure. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna wait till, so now, Okay, I'm almost wait to dry down. Now I'm gonna add another 50 grams of water. It doesn't need to be precise, it's kind of like guideline. Even though I want to be like 150 gram, but you know, just slightly over, that's fine too. And now I'm going to finish up with 225. I think grind size might be too, too fine. We'll see. Go out to 225. Actually, it was like 14.7 grams, so I'm going to slightly under. 
final touch. I'm just going to go gently stir it. We're at 2 minutes and 40 seconds. We're at 3 minute mark. You know, it's going to be close. Okay, I have to say, it might, it's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be close there. 3 or 5. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Very close. Three ten. Three twenty. That's fine. I'm gonna call it at three twenty five. Three twenty five. Yeah. Let's give it a try. So this is the So this is the final brew of the day. Uh, EK43, the SSP birds inside. Uh, the, the, the bird design is uh, uh, pre-2015, okay? And they are known for the, the sweetness. And bring out the sweetness and also give you a very nice balance to it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Go ahead and smell it. Okay. We are going through a lot of coffee today, by the way. Here we go. All right, here we go. Cheers. Here we go, bud. Cheers. Okay. So this is a $3,000 the grinder setup, folks. Okay. Clean. It is very clean. Okay, I definitely taste the orange blossom as well. Yep. I wonder if I can make course a uh, little coarser. Man. We are talking about one coffee here. So the C coffee is extremely light. It's a good cup. Because I was, okay, I was hoping for, okay, kind of like the, the, you can actually tell the difference, right? So it's going to be some coffee grinds are much better than others. So this one versus K plus. Man. I feel I feel it's it's a bit tad bitter in the end, but otherwise it, it actually is exactly the same. Very similar as, K as, plus. Uh, yeah, same as K plus grinder. Because uh, K plus a uh, uh, brew time was like three minutes and five seconds. So this one at three minutes and twenty five seconds. So if I'm gonna go uh change my grind size coarser. We, we will it will have a better cup than this. It's going to be a better cup, okay? Better cup for sure. But it's going to be notably different. No? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be notably different. It won't be bitter. The, this, this one has a little bit of bitterness in the aftertaste. Yeah. It won't be there. So, so again, so without the bitterness, it's, it's almost the same it, flavor. Ah, man, it's pretty much... So, so I, I like the K plus comes to uh, filter. So okay, for this coffee, the slightly better than my EK. Okay, the slightly better tasting cup cup with this uh, fast brewer, and with the Commandante, it's somewhat muted. Again, we are talking about just only one, one example of only one coffee. Okay, the say coffee we are using uh, this morning. So it's gonna be notable. Not this point. Is that is that EK forty three is hundred times better than Commandante or K plus? No answer is not. Okay. 
answer is not 100 times better. All right, that's for sure. But is that extremely clean cup? Yes, okay. Definitely cup is very clean. Yeah, I think if, if the extraction time goes a little bit down, it will be more cleaner than more the cleaner. cake was and less bitter and Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm, I, I felt like I want to do one more time here, but <laughs> goodness. You know what? Uh, I think we, we're going to do that next time, okay? I mean, it never ends, folks. So this is how you're dialing in your coffee, by the way. You know, I mean, ideally, you're, you're not sure that with your friends or, you know, your family members. Just kick back and have a good time, you know, dialing in. But, you know, I mean, for us, I have a luxury, okay? I have a luxury to compare with the other grinders, okay? Other grinders, other brewing method. Uh, a lot of you at home, you most likely have maybe one, maybe two grinders at home. Maybe a couple of different brewing system. So somewhat limited uh, what you can do, what, what, what you can dial in. It all comes is all about the grinder, okay? If you have a great grinder, you're going to bring out more new ones, okay? something more than other cups. But if you don't have that, it's, it's okay. But we're not talking about this much difference in the cup quality, slightly difference. With my EK, Right now, I'm at number nine. I'm gonna go up to maybe number 10. Uh, I'm going to go a little faster ex extraction, which means bring out more sweetness and also give you a nicer balance, for sure. But it's gonna be, what, what four cups, five cups already? Yeah. yeah so so uh, we're not gonna push it, but uh, maybe like next weekend. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more coffee next weekend Actually, by next weekend is what, December, right? Yep. Okay, so next weekend, uh, I think I'll be, uh, I'm going to be doing the Onyx uh, uh, calendar coffee as well, the advent calendar from Onyx too. So we're going to have some different types of coffee. So because I do want to compare, all right? I do want to compare with the, the different types of coffee, different processing because the anaerobic natural versus wash which grinder is better for them. So ideally, you want to have the ideally conical and flappers, all right? So uh, Jesse asked, so I'm going to get, yeah, uh, MC5 is coming next March, okay? MC5 is coming next March. Look, going through a lot of coffee, so that junior, okay, stay up, coffee there. Uh, let's see, we got the J-Mac, just got a P64, on DF64, okay, good. Really enjoying it, that's fantastic. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, I mean, you know, one of you see, you know, I got a live session, and I usually put the title on it, you know. I mean, if the title is interesting to you, yeah, just pop in and hang out with us, okay? Just hang out with us. Uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been fun today. It's been going on for almost 50 minutes now. So, yeah. anyway, so next weekend, I'm. You have time next weekend? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have a dip uh, joiner. By the way, so dip is the the brewer's cup judge. Okay, so he knows few things about taste, and so he uh, he was at the judge for the uh, the prelim judge at couple months ago at Presta Coffee. And so he was the judge. So he knows a few things about how to taste coffee. So I do trust his, uh, his opinion. We got Joanne, Johan, Johan. We got a greeting from Germany as well. Man, you guys have some good grinder coming out from Germany. Uh, the Titus is fantastic. All right, hold on a second. Will you get it? Uh, let's see, pal. Conical bar, uh, Gorilla Gear, Conical bar. I'm not sure, okay? Yes, Gorilla Gear is coming. The John Golden uh, owns the Gorilla Gear. He did mention about uh, he sending me to try it out, but yeah, but we'll see. But I do have a 68 millimeter Conical bar right behind me from FEMA book. That's also interesting grinder. And then next year, I got the MC5, it's about 71 or 73 millimeter conical uh, birds from Caftag as well. So 
that should be fun as well. So we got a lot of uh, grinder comparison coming up. And then I do want to check my alignment on my EK43 too. So because if your alignment is off, guess what? You're going to get a, you know, a mediocre cup. Okay. So I, I need to check the alignment on my EK43. Just make sure everything is online. Okay. Let's see. And also I got a, a SSP on my DF83 as well. So I'm gonna check that out too. Okay, hold on a second here. So we got the uh, we got a few more days of Black Friday special going on. So make sure uh, check out Amazon. They got some few deals coming up. Uh, we got uh, uh, Joe. You have any special going on, on your website uh, from Espresso Outlet? I'm gonna check out Joe's website here. He did mention about Black Friday special. So yeah, just make sure check out the. Uh, Man, he's selling the DF64 for 375 now. Goodness. 375 for DF64 at the Joe's website, the Espresso Outlet. Man, that is affordable. Two, uh, 375. This hand grinders, Commandante is about 300 bucks. Okay. K Plus is about two, what, 240, 250. So, Additional 50 bucks there, you're gonna get the 64 millimeter flat burr. Yeah. See how say purchase or oh, look like Bianca, goodness. For the black little like Bianca there. Shout out to C Pow. Alright, folks. Uh you got Alex as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and I'm gonna see you guys next time.